Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kyra Simon. it is time to brawl. For today's video, we've got two new gadgets to show you guys. That's right, it is time for some sneak peeks. For the first half of today's video, we're going to be talking about 8-Bit. He's got a new star power, and then I'm going to quickly go over his other abilities, and then we're going to talk about 8-Bit's best build. And the second half of today's video is going to be all about Colt, his newest gadget, which you really do want to see. Then we'll cover his abilities and talk about his best build as well, guys. And let me tell you, <laughs> these are some really good gadgets. In fact, Colt's gadget specifically is just, I mean, I, th I think it's going to make him a little bit more competitive. He's, he's not very competitive before, and this might be just what he needs. Kind of like Carl's and Brock's newest gadgets made them really competitive. But the question is, are these gadgets going to be OP? We'll find out, but one thing's for sure, they're definitely not as OP as today's video sponsor. I wanted to give a huge thank you to Jurassic Monster World for sponsoring this video. Jurassic Monster World is a free mobile game that takes place in a post-apocalyptic world where dinosaurs have taken over the planet. And your goal is to tame them and battle other players, also fighting on giant dinosaurs, to try and control Earth's remaining resources. There are tons of different types of monsters that fight on the ground or in the air, up close with teeth and claw or at a distance with heavy weaponry. Now, while there are some historically accurate dinosaurs, there are also cybernetically modified creatures and mutant monsters that you can choose from. This is my personal favorite, the Allosaurus, who is a real monster when he gets in melee range, because not only does he poison enemies, but he also has vampirism so that he restores some of his own health. But when the fights are more long range, you can customize your monsters by equipping them with various weapons to fit your play style. You can download Jurassic Monster World on iOS or Android completely for free free by using the link in the description below. By doing so, you'll get a free pilot, 150,000 E cells, and 150 D crystals as a bonus. Plus, you can send me a friend request under the nickname Kairos Time. Once again, I want to give a huge thank you to Jurassic Monster World for sponsoring this video. First up is 8-Bit's newest gadget, Extra Credits. When you use this gadget, 8-Bit loads up some extra ammo into his next attack. Normally, 8-Bit fires six projectiles with his attack, but one of 8-Bit's attacks loaded with extra credits will fire three times the normal amount of projectiles for a whopping 18 projectiles in a single ammo. Just in case you need a reminder, 8-Bit has one of the highest damaging attacks in the game. In fact, when he's allowed to use his super to boost his attacks, he actually claims the number one place in the three attack Olympics test. And I'm here to tell you guys now that he is now going to be the highest damaging brawler in the game. <laughs> with a single ammo. You definitely do not want to be on the receiving end of this gadget because it will cost you 8,064 health if you get hit by all of the projectiles, and that is if 8-Bit is not powered up by his super. That means that 8-Bit will be able to take out every single brawler in the game other than Frank and El Primo with just one ammo assuming all the projectiles hit the enemy. And if 8-Bit is powered up by his super, not even Frank with his sponge star power, the highest HP brawler in the game would be able to survive. Now, obviously the chances of 8-Bit landing all of his projectiles on an enemy is pretty small, unless of course you're really skilled and the enemy just happens to be super unlucky. But even if you are really skilled, 8-Bit is slower than all of the brawlers in the game, which means that even a perfectly aimed attack won't hit all the projectiles if the enemy moves to the side of the attack. Now, where I think that this ability is going to be most useful is when enemies think the 8-bit is out of ammo and he unloads an attack worth the power of three ammo to take them out unexpectedly. Now let's quickly cover 8-bit's other gadget and star powers and then we're going to talk about his best build and then we'll move on to Colt. 8-bit's original gadget is cheat cartridge. With this gadget equipped, 8-bit is able to teleport to wherever his turret is. The one stipulation is the fact that it cannot be activated if 8-bit is further than 12 tiles away from the turret. And then of course obviously it's not going to work if 8-bit's turret has been destroyed. This gadget can be great for chasing enemies around corners or even helping 8-Bit escape sticky situations. 8-Bit's first star power is Boosted Booster. With this star power equipped, the range of 8-Bit's turret gets increased from 3 tiles to a 4 tile radius. This makes it a lot easier for 8-Bit to boost the damage from not only himself but also his teammates and I find it especially useful on maps where 8-Bit can throw his turret behind a wall where it will be protected while also being able to stay on the map where he's needed the most. 8-Bit's second star power is Plugged In. With this star power, 8-Bit plugs into his turret, which increases his movement speed whenever he's close to it. He just seems to be within six tiles of his turret for this ability to work. And I haven't exactly measured to see if it, how fast it makes him, but I believe that it gives him a very fast movement speed. In other words, this would make him as fast as Crow, Mortis, and Max, which is very fast, especially because of how 8-Bit normally feels so slow without the star power in effect. So the question is, what is 8-Bit's best build? One thing is for sure. 
I think 8-Bit's newest gadget, Extra Credits, is the better of the two gadgets. Honestly, I think there are too many conditions for his teleport cheat cartridge gadget to really be effective. Not only does he have to have a turret up and running, but there also has to be a reason for him to teleport, which honestly doesn't happen very often. When 8-Bit can make it work out to his advantage, it's really awesome. But I can't tell you how many times I've played a match with 8-Bit without using this gadget a single time, just because there wasn't a good time to use the teleportation. On the other hand, Extra Credits is going to be useful in every single match. And it would be irresponsible for you to not use it all three times for every single match. More damage is almost always useful, and I'd rate 8-Bit's cheat cartridge as a B-tier gadget, and his extra credits as an A-tier gadget. Honestly, I consider rating it as an S-tier, and I'm kind of on the fence, but I feel good about rating it as an A-tier gadget. As for 8-Bit's star powers, it's a little bit more complicated. For 1v1 situations, 8-Bit's plugged-in star power is definitely the better star power for 8-Bit to use. But Boosted Booster has the added benefit of not only just helping 8-Bit, but his teammates as well, and that makes me not discredit this star power completely. With that said though, I still think that his plugged-in star power is the better star power to use the vast majority of the time. The extra speed is crazy strong on 8-Bit, because with his added mobility, 8-Bit does a much better job at leading his shots, kind of like Colt does, and it makes it so much easier for 8-Bit to dodge enemy fire. This means that 8-Bit's not only going to stay alive longer, but he's also going to deal more damage, which is basically what his boosted booster star power does, is it just increases the width so that he can deal more damage more frequently, right? Don't get me wrong, guys. I think that boosted booster is an okay star power, but not nearly as game-changing as his plugged in is for 8-Bit. I'd rate boosted booster as a B-tier star power and plugged in as an A-tier star power. And that means that this is what I consider to be the best build for 8-Bit. His extra credits gadget, his plugged in star power, and for my favorite 8-Bit skin, I've gotta go with Virus 8-Bit, obviously. I mean, is it even a competition? Now let's talk about Colt. Colt's newest gadget is Silver Bullet. After Colt uses this gadget, his next attack becomes a powerful single bullet rather than six small bullets. The Silver Bullet deals 3,136 damage to enemies, which is more damage than he can deal with a regular attack. That's just enough damage for him to one-shot tick and gives Colt the fifth highest damaging attack in the game. But that's not all. The attack pierces through enemies and can hit multiple people just like his super can, and also like his super, it breaks through walls as well, which is crazy strong. Did you guys know that Brock, with his newest gadget, was the second most played brawler in the Brawl Stars World Championship? And Brock's kit, I think, is a little bit more competitive than Colt's is right now, but that gadget can break walls, and that's why Brock thrives so much. The extra damage from his newest gadget definitely helped Brock a lot, but the reason why Brock did such a good job was because of his ability to take out three sets of walls from a long distance away, and that is exactly what Colt's Silver Bullet gadget is going to allow him to do. Mark my words, guys, this is going to make Colt much stronger than he was before. Now let's cover his other abilities, and then we'll talk about Colt's best build. Colt's original gadget is Speed Loader. When Colt uses this, he instantly re reloads to ammo. It's a really simple gadget, but it is very useful. Using this after you've depleted your ammo is super helpful against enemies who aren't expecting a fourth and a fifth ammo coming their way. And honestly, it helps Colt so much when it comes to shredding through high HP targets. Colt's first star power is Slick Boots. With this equipped, Colt gets a permanent speed buff by 10%. This makes him slightly faster than fast brawlers like Bull, BB, or Daryl, but not quite as fast as very fast brawlers like Crow, Mortis, and Max. This makes it much easier for Colt to dodge shots and it also makes it easier for Colt to strafe while attacking so that he can deal more damage to enemies. Also, this is an amazing ability on modes where covering a lot of ground is important, like in Heist or even Showdown. Colt's second star power is Magnum Special. With this equipped, his attack range and bullet speed are increased by 11%. This does not affect Colt's super at all, but it does mean that Colt basically gets a permanent buff to his attack range to be 9 tiles instead of the 8 tile range that he normally has. It's not the longest range, but it does allow Colt to compete with some more long range-ish brawlers. But what is Colt's best build? Honestly, Colt has some really awesome abilities. I think that his speed loader gadget is an A tier gadget because where Colt really thrives is in his damage and that extra damage from two additional ammo can be super helpful in a lot of situations. But his newest gadget, Silver Bullet, also offers more damage and can deal damage to multiple targets, and most importantly, can break through lots of walls. It can even break through more walls than Brock's newest gadget does because it doesn't explode on impact. It just keeps on going and keeps on breaking more walls. This gadget is definitely an S-tier gadget and will make Colt much more competitive than he was before. 
I don't think he's going to be as strong as Brock because, well, Colt wasn't played a single time in the Brawl Stars World Championship, but I do think that it'll give him a shot where he did not have one before. As for Colt's star powers, I think that they're both on the edge of being A tier, B tier kind of area. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they're both A tier star powers. It's beneficial to Colt that he has star powers that are 100% of the time useful. I think the choice comes down to whether you want to play Colt on more of a long range map or one that isn't so long range. If it is long range, absolutely use his Magnum Special. Otherwise, I recommend his Slick Boots. I do think that it is the better option and is what I would recommend using if you only could use one of the two star powers forever. And that makes this Colt's best build. His new Silver Bullet gadget, his Slick Boots star power, and for his best skin, Honestly, it's kind of a tough call for me. I go back and forth between Royal Agent Colt and Corsair Colt, but I think I'm going to stick with Corsair for right now. And there you have it, guys. The best builds and newest gadgets for 8-Bit and Colt. I want to know which gadget you're most excited for, and feel free to let me know in the comment section if you disagree with some of my recommendations. Make sure you guys subscribe for future quality Brawl Stars videos like this. Sneak peeks, including, right? More best builds as well. Use Kukairos in the Brawl Stars shop, guys. And for now, this is Kairos time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.